Hello everyone, welcome to Code with Femi. In this video, we're going to be looking at some tools you should know or you should have as a software engineer. The number one tool I would like to talk about is an IDE. What is an IDE? IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. This is a software you install on your computer that enables you to write code in a well-structured manner and also helps you to develop software effectively and efficiently. For me, I make use of Visual Studio and Visual Studio Code. And also, I make use of my IDEs for debugging. And what is debugging? Is to be able to, to troubleshoot and find where the, there's defects in your application to be able to fix them. So I make use of my IDE for that. Also, it also helps you to monitor, you know, the memory usage of your application. It helps you with that. And I, I, I will show you those things in my next video. The number two tool that I would like to talk about is a web server. You need a web server to be able to test your web application before you actually deploy it to a live server. You know, in cases where you don't have, you know, you don't have much money to set up all these different build servers and different environment servers, and you're just, you know, you're starting up as a software engineer, you can have a web server running on your computer to be able to test it before you actually deploy it to a web hosting server, like maybe go on GoDaddy, for instance. You can actually like, you know, test this locally, make sure it's working as expected before you, you, you do the deployments. For me, I actually make use of IRS to test my .NET applications to be sure that it's working as expected and be able to, you know, to be sure that this thing is just doing what I'm expecting it to do. And then I can now, when I'm happy, I can, I can easily deploy it to, you know, to that external server that I've got. That's, that's your number two tool I believe you should have as a software engineer. The number three tool that I believe you should have is you need a database server. What is a database server? It is a server for your database. There are cases where you're developing an application that has to store information, that has to persist, persist information into a, so some sort of a storage facility. And there, you might have um, you, you might be thinking you might be thinking how do I do this? Basically, you need a database server to be able to achieve that. In my case, I make use of MS SQL Server and also sometimes I make use of um, my SQL Server, also MongoDB um, uh, Server. I run that on my machine and that helps me to store information through my application in a database. So I believe you should have this on your computer to be able to, you know, to develop, you know, robust applications. The number four tool that I believe you should have as a software engineer is you need to have some sort of a ticketing tool or a project management tool to track the, to, to track the, you know, the progress of the software you're developing. You can't just, you know, be developing things and just keeping every information in your, in your, in your, in your mind or in your, in your head because there are cases where you would definitely forget some vital information. So it's good to put them someplace. So for me, I make use of Jira. Jira is actually a ticketing tool that helps me a lot to, you know, to track the project. So I, be, I develop tickets and what, you know, you might be thinking, what, what is this guy talking about? Basically, let's say for instance, now you want to develop a contact page. Let's say just a contact page that has a contact form, you know, and you want to be sure that you 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 do all the necessary things to be able to develop this this page what do you think you know you might be thinking i mean saying okay i okay i'll do this i'll do that i'll you know i'll do xyz but you might miss one of these things if you don't have some place you're storing those information so in my case i would say i'll put a ticket in there and say develop a contact page Within that contact page and um, that ticket that I've called a, we develop a contact page, I can have sub tickets and say for this contact page, I would like to develop the contact form UI. I would like to develop the, de the database table to store the contact information. I would like to develop the um, to, uh, to set up the SMTP server that will be able to send that message that people are writing on that contact form to some email or to some location. So you need to be able to track those things and be sure to know what you have done because those tickets you've created, you can easily move them and say, okay, I'm developing this. When you're done, you move it to the done column. 
you know so those are the things that you need to you know to bear in mind as a software engineer another tool that you must have the number five tool you must have is you must have an architectural tool you might be saying but i'm not an architect i'm just a developer or i'm just an engineer for you to call yourself an engineer you have to be able to to explain what you're doing your technical things in a in a much more clearer way to business oriented people there are cases where you are developing a software and you are dealing with people that are not even tech savvy you should be able to come up with you know uh, uh, an information a document to be able to show them that okay this is what i am i am going to develop for you guys so you need an architectural tool in my case i make use of draw.io this is an online tool that i use is free it and i use that to develop you know to just draw out sketch out things that i can use to explain what you know what system i'm planning to develop so if you're just an aspiring developer and you 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 know you want to get into the the, the software engineering um, business you need to be able to have some architectural to to explain things to 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 people that are non-technical and i would say finally um the number six tool that you need is you need a source control tool you need to be able to have a tool where you 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 know you track the progress of the the software you're developing for those of you who missed my previous bid video i did a video on how to use bitbucket to store your code you know this is a tool you need to have you need to be able to track the progress of the software that you are you are developing because you don't just want to store the 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 the, the code on your machine and then your, your machine is stolen now what what do you do <laughs> so you need to have a repository where you're storing the source source code you know so that when anything happens to your machine you can easily pull it or maybe for instance you travel and you don't have a, um, a, a computer you can easily just go and you know get a computer there and connect to your repository where you are and continue doing the development work so you need a, um, um, a, um, a source control um, repository, a versioning control. You need it. So those are those are those are the six you know tools I would I would I, I believe you should know and you should have as a software engineer. And in my next video, we will be talking about you know I'll be showing you this tool and I will take my time to show you this tool one at a time. I will I I don't want to I don't want us to rush it. I want us to take it one step at a time so you can see how these things tie together. Because all these tools actually they work together hand in hand. They work together. And I would like us to go, you know, through that journey together to be able to see, you know, um how this thing how these tools work and how you can develop the you know high quality software and develop software that you can even track and see how long it took you you can even put costing into it you can factor you know so many things into it so i would i would encourage you to to make sure you you watch my next video on on this and um we'll take it from there i hope you guys um you know enjoyed this and i hope that i was able to add value to to you guys out there and you know don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe try to share the video with people that you know that don't know about these things and let us continue on this journey together i will see you in my next video keep well